For prospective foster parents, there's a free information session happening this month. Joining us now with more information is Rebecca Mraz, the director of West Hawaii Island Programs. Aloha and good morning, morning Rebecca. Thank you so much for stopping by with us. Thank you. Happy to be here. Can you tell us more about this event? Yes, we're holding the information session so that people who have been interested or want to know more about becoming a foster parent for our therapeutic foster um, program can log in and ask questions and get more information on what that would be like for them. Okay, what about the Transitional Family Homes Program? Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, that's the official name of our program and how it differs from, differs from regular foster care is that the youths do have families to go back to. Uh, something about their behaviors or the interaction in the family has been problematic. So what we do is bring them into the program for about nine to 12 months. And Sam, they're assigned a therapist and a life skills specialist. They work directly with the youth with the host family and also with the biological family. And the goal is really to correct and learn new behaviors and ways of negotiating change in the family. And then they go home and hopefully continue to thrive, having made a nice informal support for them with that professional parent. Wow, that's incredible. Sounds like such a dynamic way to go about this to, to really help out these families. Uh, incredible. How can our viewers register if they're interested? There is an event, right? I believe that the link is to be found on um, perhaps your website, but definitely the website for Child and Family Service. Uh, we are the oldest nonprofit in the state of Hawaii, so we've been doing this for a while, but we're trying to get the word out to recruit more prospective foster parent families. If we have more families, we can obviously help more children, and the need is definitely out there, Sam. Yeah, the need is definitely out there. So it's on us as a community to try and take in some of these keiki and like you said, uh, different opportunities for those people who do so to learn and grow and, and to help out the, the kids that need to be helped out. Rebecca, thank you so much for joining us and sharing this information this morning. Hopefully it can help out our viewers. Thank you for inviting me. Aloha.